Hey guys, welcome to the All Walks of Life podcast. My guest on the show today is RJ Yashwi, who works for Radio Mirchi and has her show called Meethi Mirchi, which tunes in uh, from 12 to 3 p.m. I really recommend her show. I think she's a fantastic uh, radio host and she really knows her way around uh, words and those sorts of things. Uh, this particular conversation I did have with her was about her time at radio and sort of how it differs from the other digital portals. I did sort of have this conversation earlier with uh, RJ Kanika, who, who, which conversation I enjoyed as well. Uh, but in this one, I felt I got the opportunity to talk to her a little bit about how languages interplay as well later on down uh, in the conversation when I asked her because she is able to speak Gujarati, Hindi and English and simply ask her about how that sort of interplays uh, in the demographics that um, the radio station plays to but also simply about the magic there is to the languages in itself. As a side note, let me just say, uh, this conversation was recorded in person. I will try to bring back in-person conversations as much as possible I just feel there's a certain magic to in-person conversations which cannot be replicated online. It's not simply about the production quality, but also about um, the interactions I have with my guests or the people who are coming on the podcast. Um, something that even later down the line, perhaps uh, I'm in the city or they're in the city, we can help each other out. And it's just another bond that I get to make with my uh, guest, that is. And also, just on a human level, I think that the conversations are much richer as well when you're simply face-to-face -face, uh, with another individual. So, yeah, so I'll be trying to bring that back as much as possible. Obviously, the travel restrictions have eased, but it also comes down to if my guests who I am willing to have on are willing to have it in person because I don't want to risk... Um, risk their safety and obviously have to take those things into consideration. But yeah, without further ado, here's the conversation. Hey Ashri, welcome to the All Walks of Life podcast. A pleasure to have you on. I'm so glad to be here. Actually, thanks for inviting me. So yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since we got this figured and we're having this in person. So that's great. Um, I really want to get into the story uh, behind you in radio and those sorts of things. But um, just before that, just for the listeners, for the viewers, perhaps, can you give us a little bit about your journey into radio and like mm -hmm. what motivated you to get into radio? Was that something you really wanted to get into or were there other industries you were exploring so yeah <laughs> mm, yeah so no i did not ever plan on doing radio and um, so i have been an actor before this and i used to work in ads uh, and i used to work as a model sometimes as an actor before that i was a writer i was a copywriter with the hangama and jwt and before that i was in college i was doing my media and communication uh, i was doing my bachelor's in it and uh, so since i was auditioning you know that's what you do when you're an actor and that's what you do for different ads um, so my relative was like ki and my relative she's a huge mirchi fan and uh, yeah so she's even though she's in australia she's been you know following all the rjs on like uh, instagram facebook and she saw this this rj hunt thing one day and she's like why don't you apply for this and i was like since i'm auditioning for everything i might as well audition for this but i did not think that it might get serious and uh, so there's this rj hunt and there is like uh, you know there are different rounds so there's this um, written test then there is this vocal test and there are different kind of tests and it's usually a process and i'm aware of it so i thought it'll take a lot of time but i went there for my I, um, I gave my written test and then I went for all the auditions and everything and I think most of my auditions were done in a day <laughs> so <laughs> so ek din mein they finalized everything and they're like listen uh, so okay when are you joining us and I'm like oh my god I have to think about this now that do I really want to do it and that's when I got on thinking that do I really want to do this before that I had no idea Kyunki, because I was so used to getting rejected in auditions I didn't think it would really happen so um, yeah so it did happen and then uh, so then, uh, and by that time, actually, I was enjoying my work in, in the sense that I was enjoying um, shooting for ads and everything. And I was getting also ads. And this is by the end of pandemic where I thought that I did not have uh, enough money to sustain in Mumbai. But then a uh, few ads came in and I was shooting the day I got a call from Mirchi. Ki, Listen, uh, we want you. And uh, so, yeah, so a few calculations there. And uh, then I decided that, okay, I'm any which way having FOMO that I've been staying away from parents in so long. 
so i'll move to my hometown and uh, and mirchi has been something that i've been listening to since i was a kid to matlab matlab main 12 12 baje tak sunti thi radio ko and i have been like proper radio listener i don't know why didn't i think of like you know properly thinking of becoming a radio jockey because it just happened and it should have been the obvious case if you are a proper radio listener but uh, yeah and uh, so yeah i took the job and I, I, it's been 5 months since i've been on air and before that i had a little bit of training in uh, so yeah of course they won't go ki kal se ja ke bolne lago pure shehar se baat karne lago to ha to meri training hui 5 mahine se i'm on air and it's been fun i'm glad i took it so that's pretty interesting like um i'd like to get into how was the experience being on air because i'm sure there is lot to get in there but was there anything you could take away from even when you you were auditioning perhaps when you were modeling or acting in mm. ads or something of that sort of copywriting were there some things that you could uh, take away when you sort of transition into becoming a radio jockey because because i spoke i've spoken to rj kanika who's been on the podcast and uh, she's a radio host as well and uh, something she said that you really require to have almost a personality when you're on air mm. so like yeah how much can you speak to that so that's what my whole process has been since last 5 months because i keep going back to my peers uh, back at mirchi and i'm like listen i don't have a personality <laughs> what do you guys keep saying why did you hire me i actually went to my ph ph is a programming head so they are like radio jockeys bosses so yeah i went to my boss and i was like listen i don't have a personality why did you hire me i don't know what you're doing so uh, yeah so those were the questions and it's a process that a radio jockey goes through through like a uh, radio jockey is basically just amplification of uh, your innate personality mm-hmm. okay it is this louder <laughs> and i am having a trouble figuring out what my personality is which can be saleable on air but uh, having said that it's something that you don't go after it just happens but yeah radio i think while selecting they do look for those things that you know is it the kind of personality that people would resonate to or it, w- would she be likable not me like any radio jockey for mm-hmm. that matter would they be accepted so there is something that they look for i don't know what exactly it is but yeah i- yeah i guess which is why you have like 12 round of auditions oh, to wow. figure <laughs> out who can this person go on air or not but yeah they have their experience to do that is it i mean i don't know maybe you're in a better space to comment here but people have sort of told me this about podcasting and it's about the audio interface in general because it's m- a lot more intimate than let's say video hmm. if that makes sense because the thing is um, when you listen to a podcast or when you're in your car and listening to the radio it's almost like you have a special connection to the radio jockey or like the podcaster in a different context is because it's 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 more intimate than any other platform because it's really it's in your head almost hmm. like people are speaking into your head if that yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah, yeah. and i don't know like um maybe that's the reason and that's why they say that you almost have to treat the mic as your best friend almost mm-hmm. so did that almost take time because you did speak to it that mm-hmm. they didn't just throw you on air and say yeah, yeah. <laughs> do so, you but <laughs> i i'm glad you asked this because there is a whole um, so there's an exercise that we so there are different kind of things that radio jockeys are told to do just to get comfortable with mic so it's a lot like acting in a way okay mm-hmm. because you're uh, because okay every whatever morning or what, whatever your show time is you're going there and you're feeling enthusiasm mm-hmm. but in order to make it more organic in the sense that there has to be a connect with the listener you know because they go through it every day. whatever we go through even they go through so radio jockeys are just your friends basically you know so in order to make that connection to strike that connection radio jockeys go through um I don't know. So there's an exercise where you imagine that there is a friend in front of you, or maybe the person you're closest to. So let's say if your mom is a person you're most closest to. So imagine that uh, some of them actually put pictures of their mom. Some of them actually put pictures of their friends. There are radio jockeys who, when change their jobs, they carry that collage of you know that pictures or their friends to different places, and then you know imagine as if they are talking to them. So then it sounds more organic. So if you hear a radio jockey closely, it's never like they're addressing some. Mm-hmm. a public speaker is someone who addresses public but radio jockey it's uh, it's very intimate like y- you'll feel as if they are talking just <laughs> to you so that happens because we imagine that we are talking to a friend and we talk like that so that's how it happens mm. that's that's fascinating but um just just on that particular thing though like is that is that scary is like w- w- what is that experience like because um 
from the little <laughs> I've heard of radio in, in, in the time I do listen to it and but I've heard this from other people as well that and I'm coming back to the intimate question again because for example if there's a person who goes to the office every single day um, he's driving his car and he turns on the same radio channel and he's listening to that same radio jockey and he almost gets cu- accustomed to that particular voice and opinions as such even if it's not explicit implicitly however the person mm. interacts talks even if it's not something uh, inherently that they're talking about let's say if they aren't talking about a certain like politics but it it may just slip into that road just just in the manner that they interact if that makes sense so like is that is that a scary thing like that particular responsibility that you have as a radio jockey or is it great like because you get to speak to so many get to share your opinions hmm. whatever it is to so many people who do listen to you know you know actually i'm trying to figure out whether i do enjoy sharing my opinions or not <laughs> <laughs> because uh, see i come from a media school like i went to a media mm-hmm. school right and there it was like ki debate bhi hota tha to i jump into it ki ha chalo i want to do this but now when it's your job you know to i try to make sure like since i'm just beginning since it's been just 5 months i try to keep it myself so that if i can relate to it i'm sure that people will be able to relate to it and it does not really have to come down to just political opinions or just or any heavy opinions for that matter even the way you look at world you know when you share that um i, I think it's just you I don't know it's some belief that I don't know a person behind the mic has that you know it's instilled ki if I can relate to it I'm sure people can so you speak in a way that you know people find it relatable and at the same time uh, yeah people are uh, matlab yeah your opinions do affect people but at the same which is why I think it is a responsibility but uh, अगर उसको रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की तरह देखोगे तो देन यू माइट जस्ट नॉट बी एबल टू स्पीक देन इट माइट गेट टू स्कैरी यू नो फॉर यू टू इवन से एनी थिंग फॉर दैट मैटर कि नहीं इसका क्या हो सकता है बट हाँ वी डू हैव दैट कॉन्शियंस कि कहाँ पे यू नो यू ड्रॉ द लाइन बट अदरवाइज जस्ट यू हैव टू गो फॉर इट अदरवाइज हैव डू यू परफॉर्म आई मीन इवन फॉर लाइक दिस इज लाइक इवन वेन एक्टर्स परफॉर्म दे कैन बी जजिंग द कैरेक्टर राइट सो इट्स लाइक दैट कि वो जब करना होता है यू डू इट तो हियर यू आर नॉट अ कैरेक्टर बट यू हैव मतलब एक तो इट्स लाइक वेन यू आर इन अ सोसाइटी यू नो हाउ टू बिहेव दैट इज़ योर फर्स्ट यू नो स्क्रीन कि यहाँ पे इफ़ यू पास दिस तो मतलब यू कैन बी इन अ पब्लिक सराउंडिंग फिर उसके बाद जो निकलता है ऑफकोर्स इट वोट बी इतना जास्टिक दैट कुड हर्ट पीपल अनलेस यू आर सम टॉक शो होस्ट इन सम न्यूज चैनल नो बट but you always have because i know some you, you talked about news channels mm. but many of the news channels many of the digital platforms even um, nowadays they have the producers in their ear all the time mm. so even when they are live the producers always saying that acha now play this mm. now do this now do that is that the case in radio as well yeah big jocks <laughs> like the jocks <laughs> who have already established their names and who are really popular they have producers i don't have a producer okay I <laughs> so mean, i do my I don't own know. work <laughs> i don't know the, i don't know the technicalities under which like a show performs so for example if you're right. live on air like what are the procedures like if you're going to the bare okay. basics yeah so so my show is 12 to 3 meethi mirchi so i take an hour i do my research so whatever i want to cover for the day or whatever observations i have for the day so i prepare my links or maybe so let's say uh, Um, I'll give you today's example. So I had planned on talking about uh, Kiran Rao and uh, Amir Khan's divorce. I wanted to cover it in some way. So now I have written that topic. I know I have all the possible information on it. Then I decide on a take. Like this is what I want to. This is how I want to frame it. And then I go ahead and do that link. But all of this happens an hour before the show. So I plan my show. So if a show has like nine links, my show has nine links, uh, three links per hour. So I speak thrice in a in an hour, um, right? So that I plan my show and I step into the studio at twelve, right? Then I go ahead and write my own link. So let's say there's a full script that goes. So starting from Mirchi, this is Yashvi, and then going on to uh, this is what happened around you. This is Amir Khan and Kiran Rao decided. But you know how cool is that that they we, they went publicly to say that you know we are still going to be friends, mm-hmm. and that's such a cool thing to do. And you know at, at least that normalizes divorces around us. It's not seen as an ugly affair anymore. So this is the whole script. So the whole script goes on, and then I say it on air, and that's how the whole show pans out. right so 
this is another thing I uh, got into with um, R J Kanika. Sorry to mention yeah, so many yeah, times, yeah. but no, there are so many that. links uh, yeah. in this conversation with that particular thing. Conversation rather is the fact that even if you aren't inherently thinking, you still are going through the pro- a creative process in a sense. Mm. So mm. even if you want to talk about this piece, let's say about Amir Khan or what have you, you still have to undergo some sort of research, a manner in which you want to channel it out. Mm. So that in itself is a creative process. So like, what is that like? So do you 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 talked about things. like being yourself on mm, uh, in mm. the mic but like so is it just the particular pieces that interest you that you want to go on air and yeah, talk about yeah. or is there some supervision that comes in place that this is something you can talk about uh, this is something you can't i've been lucky in that case because there has not been lot of uh, scrutiny if i may say around it ki isko aise hi bolna hai ki isko aise hi bolna hai so it's been like ki jo karna hai karo it's been that way for me तो या सो वॉट एवर यू डिसाइड और वॉट एवर टॉपिक्स यू डिसाइड आर लॉट बेस्ड ऑन योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड ऑल्सो द आर ऑफ द आई मीन आर ऑफ द डे सो लेट्स इफ इट्स अ मॉर्निंग शो देन यू हैव टू गो हैवी ऑन इन्फॉर्मेशन यू हैव टू गो हैवी ऑन न्यूज़ यू हैव टू गो हैवी ऑन द फील गुड वाइप ना माई शो विच इज़ द आफ्टरनून टाइम बैंड इट्स अ लॉट लाइक एन एडिटोरियल ऑफ अ न्यूज़ पेपर यू नो थिंग्स दैट डोंट गेट कवर्ड ऑन फ्रंट पेज get covered on this page so whatever you want to talk about things that people could have missed that day you know you can take it up and it's slightly a lighter on a lighter note so yeah you judge the so let's say if it's a sad news you can't say it morning mein right matlab subah subah jab hi ab ab uthe hain and then you go on saying things like that so that of course that filter comes in when you're picking up content ki ye bolna hai ki nahi bolna hai so that is there but other than that uh, i think um it's a vibe <laughs> wing it <laughs> do whatever you want to <laughs> but yeah no that's that's great um but what can you speak to the medium of radio in general though like what uh, do i do with it perhaps but just in general what do you make of the medium as compared oh, to let's okay. say other mediums that are hmm. out there um so yeah radio is a very personal medium if i have to share my experience so uh lot of my exposure happened because of radio so when i was growing up and i have grown up in ahmedabad so dwanit was my favorite aj and if anyone knows dwanit matlab gujarat mein kahin pe dwanit bol do they know like i sure everyone knows dwanit so um, so yeah even i grew up listening to dwanit i grew up listen- even when i used to travel to different cities i used to do this thing that i used to switch on the radio there listen to mirchi there or any other you know station and see what the vibe of the jock is because that would help me understand the city better and radio is a very hyper local medium it's a very personal medium so let's say if i go on and say something like ki yaar aaj to mere sath bahut kharab ho gaya matlab ek rickshaw wale ne mujhe bola tha ki wo office tak chhodega kahin aur chhod ke aaya so even if i say something like this people will connect to it so it's a very personal medium it's almost like someone is talking to you yeah. you know it, as i said because you imagine that listeners are your friends and you're trying to be friends with them so yeah so you can go about and do that and what i I make of it personally is that it has added a lot of value in my life because while growing up I did not know how to use internet like हमारे पास सिर्फ internet explorer था मतलब इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि we could do everything so whatever my knowledge of movies has been or whatever because I enjoy movies and I have seen I feel like uh, like I watch lot of films you know and not just um, in bollywood or not just hindi cinema even i try to watch different kind i try to watch parallel cinema so whatever that knowledge has been i had that at what age i don't know before i went to college you know and that was because of radio because someone on the other side used to say that this is a good movie you must mm-hmm. watch it this is a good book you must read it so it has added value in my life so that's what i will be trying to do with it and which is why i say it's a very personal medium because it can affect you i don't know how much it does now because now we have lot of mediums mm-hmm. but uh, yeah even then even listening to nilesh mishra for that yeah. matter he's a radio person <laughs> yeah. but he wasn't there around when i was growing up but even when you listen to him now like you know all the podcasts or whatever oh, yeah, he yeah. does he's a proper radio man or even navid for that matter in mumbai uh, those are all radio people proper radio people and whatever they speak their words how uh, radio is basically magic of words it's yeah, it, yeah. it does affect you and it has and it has um i think it's a beautiful thought in the sense ki um, a medium has had an effect on my upbringing it has and i mean it when i say that because uh, even so i remember being really scared during my 10th 
standard exam boards and i heard a radio jockey saying that you know uh, i pass with distinction but even then i think that i've done all right in life you know just a thought like that it affected me a lot i'm like chhod nahi padna hai jo karna hai ho jayega so yeah it does affect in lot of ways you know when people talk because there's lot of relatability and when you know that someone out there is going through the same things as you are it's a connection yeah so you touched upon um, people like nilesh mishra who i'm a big fan of like uh, i think he's one of the best um, storytellers if i may call it podcasters radio people in the country in the way he just yeah presents stories does interviews and mm. those sorts of things but what do you think that is though do you think it's essential for a radio person to have that sort of an aura to them if i may say um, in the way they conduct their speech let's say or um, yeah just in the way they go about things is it essential or I don't know, like <laughs> if I'm getting to. Had you asked me this, मतलब तब तो मुझे इतना कुछ पता भी नहीं था. But uh, had you asked this to a radio jockey maybe ten years back, then they would have said yes. But right now, I can't be sure of saying that you need a particular aura because there's there are takers for everything. With digital around, you have people who are making not so cool content. Even they have such you know great mm-hmm. follower base, and people who are making cool content, even there there is you know a lot of follower base. So there are takers for everything today. Mm-hmm. So you can't say that whether this is a radio personality or whether this is the kind of spark that you need to become a radio jockey. You can't say you can't pinpoint it down to anything today. Like there's no formula today. Back then it used to be because right now it's like. जो करना है करो देर इज़ अ मीडियम फॉर यू लाइक इवन वैन यू जस्ट वॉन्ट इवन वैन यू 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 डोंट प्लान पीपल हुव नॉट सो लेट्स इफ आई एम अ सिंगर एंड आई डो नॉट विश टू बी अ प्रोफेशनल सिंगर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू परसू इट एज अ हॉबी इवन देन यू हैव सम टेन के पीपल लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू योर नेक्स्ट वॉट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू पुट आउट राइट सो देर इज़ अ मीडियम फॉर एवरी थिंग देर इज अ स्पेस फॉर एवरी थिंग so no you can't judge a personality anymore whether they'll work or not uh, especially when it comes to radio uh, just to play devil's advocate on that i think first of all just just to state it out i think it's a beautiful thing that people who earlier wouldn't get an opportunity to let's say um, go through the traditional mediums now get so many different mediums to express themselves in whatever way yeah. they want to but then again do you feel that that sort of diminishes um, someone who's been working at that particular niche for a very long time now i don't know maybe uh, in music uh, people are m- much more well versed with me in this particular context but perhaps people who are who been training classical music for a long time and that's their particular niche mm. and uh, and they're great at it but perhaps they don't get that um, it's not easy for them to access those mediums because it's just not something that would fit into those mediums mm. i don't know does that make sense Ver- versus someone who's like a 17 year old girl and she puts on something on her instagram and then she gets a lot more validation mm. like do you understand where i'm coming yeah, from yeah i i understand but that's the thing with so many mediums around see to this is just like okay if i have to uh, compare it it's just like a capitalist economy <laughs> like everyone is free to do whatever yeah. they want to right you can have your own business but when there are so many businesses you can't have uh, one person he- you know doing everything there there's the, what is that oligo oligarchies ha oligarchy right yeah so this is the, when there are so many people who are competing for one thing then competition is higher so you have to mm-hmm. make sure that uh, you know either if you are so sure that you know i want to be a playback singer only i don't want to be a youtube singer mm-hmm. then in that case you have to beat the competition and you mm-hmm. have to reach there if you want that much money if you want that much you know uh, seriousness around your work and having said that but uh, it also helps that uh, uh, you know there is so much competition because then more people get uh, inspired to do more things like you know to take that step ki yaar in inke liye agar jagah hai to hamare liye kyun nahi hmm. you know so there's two sides to it and this is exactly how our economy works so you don't know when it's going to be matlab aise हो जाएगा जैसा 2008 में हुआ था अमेरिका के साथ पर या बट या बट दर स्पेस फॉर एवरी वन एंड हैविंग सेट दैट दर इज मोर कॉम्पिटिशन सो यू नीड टू बी लाइक रियली गुड इन ऑर्डर टू गेट समथिंग यू बेटर बी वर्थ इट इफ यूर इफ योर ड्रीम्स आर दैट सी नो आई टोटली एग्री विद दैट बट जस्ट जस्ट टू स्टिक ऑन दिस पॉइंट लिटल लॉन्गर फॉर एग्जाम्पल विद द एग्जाम्पल आई गेव विद सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल ऑन इंस्टाग्राम और समथिंग 
wouldn't she have almost a disincentive not to go further if that makes sense because if she's released a few reels if she's done a few videos this that whatever and she's got a follow base then she would say that why do i almost have to experiment and go into the niches and improve my skill if i'm if i'm working so well with this particular thing that i'm doing if it's like 15 second clips or those sorts of things but that's what has been happening any which way hmm. like few sing since we are talking about music as an example here few uh, singers who we don't think are exactly singers you know they are there because of the aesthetic value right. or around their production or okay. even their uh, kind of video they put out they are not exactly singer singers jiske liye matlab singers pehle itna mehnat karte the wo wale singers nahi hai wo alag type ke hai par unke liye bhi jagah hai तो मतलब इफ दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो वाया द यूजल रूट इट्स बेटर फॉर दैम बिकॉज अदरवाइज दे बी क्रश्ड इन दैट रेस यू नो दे माइट नॉट बी एबल टू मेक इट बट इट्स अ गुड थिंग दैट दे हैव अ डिफरेंट स्पेस वेर दे कैन ट्राई आउट इधर सिर्फ यही है कि इफ यू थिंक दैट यू हैव इट तुम्हारे पास सारी अपॉर्चुनिटी है तुम्हारे पास सारी मीडियम है सब कुछ है यू डोंट हैव एनी मोर रीजन्स टू कम्प्लेन मतलब पहले कह सकते थे दैट आई एम नॉट गेटिंग माई ब्रेक बिकॉज यू नो वॉट आई कुड इंट गेट आई आई डेंट मीट द राइट पीपल और यू नो आई डोंट हैव दैट और मे बी आई डोंट लिव इन मुंबई और लेट से यू यू हैव प्लेटी ऑफ रीजन्स बट नाव यू डोंट हैव रीजन्स यू हैव मीडियम्स यू कैन कनेक्ट टू पीपल यू हैव योर टैलेंट डू वॉट यू मे आउट ऑफ इट प्रूव इट या एंड एट द सेम टाइम इट्स दी अदर वे अराउंड एज वेल विच यू सेट कि मतलब अभी इतना सारा इवन द सीरियस सिंगर विल बी थिंकिंग ये लोग सिंगर्स है तो मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ इधर तो दोनों है तो उसमें कुछ लाइक देर कैंट बी यू कैन से एनी थिंग अबाउट दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन दिस पार्ट ऑफ मीडियम्स दिस पार्ट ऑफ द डिजिटल वर्ल्ड दैट वी लिव इन सो यू कैन हैव एन ओपिनियन और इवन से एनी थिंग अबाउट इट यू नो Yeah, who am I to say I'm doing a podcast myself? <laughs> I'm still in college. But the thing is, so I had this um, good friend of mine, Abhi Maheshwari. He does a great podcast called uh, Lal Chashma Hindi Stories. I recommend it highly. So he came up with this thing, and I think it's so true with what you're saying as well. So there is content you make for the classes, and there's content you make for the masses, and that's always going to be true. Mm. Which he says that. with the example even we were throwing out that often uh, in in any context actually in any industry we look at there is just some content that gets propelled up because it just appeals to the masses and that's what's going to do mm. and again connecting this to radio as well um something that i've heard in when it comes to radio is that often times you can't even so this is different with podcasting because podcasting you can go very niche and you can talk about very technical things as well which you can't do on radio because there's such mm. a is basically everyone can listen in right and that sort of plays to a disadvantage because um, some radio jockeys have said that you almost have to target the lowest common denominator mm. and what that means is that now you can't start talking about quantum physics because there is a rickshaw wala's listening yeah, yeah, and they don't understand and that's fair enough right and that's and that's a way you have to sort of channel your content then mm. so my sort of question here is like what do you think about the future of radio i know you've just started off in those sorts mm. of things but um like yeah wh- how do you think it it fits in with the other sort of mediums we have in play today is it mm. in competition to let's say your instagrams and your youtubes of the world or like how does it fit in or does it all will it always have a sp- space for itself um so i think so uh, it might be surprising but there are few places in india jahan tak radio bhi abhi nahi pahuncha hai like रेडियो विच वी कंसिडर कि मतलब टी वी ट्रेडिशनल मीडियम है इट्स अ ट्रेडिशनल मीडियम राइट सो देर आर प्लेस वेर इवन रेडियो हैज नॉट रीच हैविंग सेड दैट आई थिंक रेडियो इज नाव एन ऑल्सो मीडियम इट यूज टू बी अ प्राइमरी मीडियम यू नो एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम वेन दैर वॉज नॉट टी वी और वेन दैर वॉज नॉट डिजिटल तो रेडियो वॉज अ प्राइमरी मीडियम में मतलब वी नो ऑफ स्टोरीज कि गाँव में लोग रेडियो के आजू बाजू ऐसे घेरा बना के बैठते थे एंड यूज टू लिसन टू यू नो द कॉमेंटेटर commentator ha <laughs> so yeah so yeah that used to happen so it used to be it a primary happens, some places, yeah, yeah yeah some places but if we talk about us <laughs> the urban audience no so radio is an also medium having said that the future i see is that radio industry can't survive without having a digital um, backup in the sense i think which is why you will see now ra- radio jockeys turning uh, radio jockeys turning into influencers matlab mm-hmm. it's a part of a job now to be on social media it's okay. not something that i do it out of my will ki mujhe karna hai isliye main kar rahi hu it's part of a job 
yeah so that's so is that the reason why <laughs> whenever i turn on the radio every radio jockey is always just yeah. shamelessly plugging their instagram yeah, yeah. and whatever yeah <laughs> and i feel so bad matlab pehle pehle lagta tha it's almost like after every song yeah but don't feel <laughs> yeah don't forget to ping me hi what was that thing am or pm i'll always be you know for your dms or whatever so yeah it is a thing but it's part of a job because if your most of your audience is on digital See if you want to make money in media now you have to be where your audience is mm-hmm. and if radio is not the primary medium anymore where, where are they then that's digital so you need that and is it also is it also come it also does it also come to this aspect of convenience so f- earlier perhaps and I, th- this probably still happens where people used to call into the radio station and give their thoughts or whatever now it's much easier for a person to drop into someone's dms or text uh, or tweet at someone and then it's easier for the radio jockey or the person who's there in the in the radio station as well to possibly go through them and then talk about those things that those people have directly directed mm. towards them is so, that another reason as well uh yeah no but that's not the main reason why this happens it's just uh, i'm just talking about business <laughs> 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 if you want to make money be on digital guys yeah. anyone who wants to take this advice but yeah uh, uh no so uh, that is one of okay so you, it's easier to get feedbacks now on instagram having said that even when i do say ki you know mirchi ashwi is my insta handle please re- reach out or whatsoever i don't get as many feedbacks as the, uh, a you know radio jockeys who've been in the business for some uh, 10 years or 20 years now and they get calls they still mm-hmm. get calls they still get um, letters they oh. that still happens so yeah so i think it's uh, also on the personality some at some <laughs> point i think it's also on the um, name that you've made for yourself so you can't say ki just because your audience is there now radio jockeys are like nahi call nahi kar sakte to ye karo that could be one of the reasons but it's not a main reason ha also you uh, you brought up a really good point around uh, content which i think we missed yeah so radio i think is a mass medium pura ka pura podcast is not a mass medium mm-hmm. yet it's yeah. yeah yet matlab i don't know kab pahunchega exactly, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah it's not a mass medium so radio is a proper mass medium so yes we do filter out on a lot of things but having said that ki you can't talk about quantum physics on radio that those are the thoughts that i have i go up to uh, you know radio jockeys that i have been listening to and you know who've been in who are my seniors i ask them ki yaar ye mujhe baat bolni hai i don't know how to put it and now that's the thing that's your job mm-hmm. here you can't say like ki quantum physics hai to mujhe baat nahi karna hai iska kyunki rickshaw wale ko samajh nahi aayega your job is to simplify it to the level ke 5 saal ke bacche ko bhi yeah. samajh aaye yeah. so you have to matlab that is your job that's what you get paid for you know it's so no but that's a skill in itself though because it, it's like i don't know how people <laughs> have it it's beautiful matlab <laughs> teachers have it that's yeah. how we've yeah, learned see, right i think so the, i i've mentioned this same particular quote in my podcast several times so there's this intellectual i really admire richard feynman so he said this hmm. thing that um, like it's very difficult to sort of quantify intelligence but in one way of doing it which is possibly a good way is for example if there is the most complex of complex topics or concepts or what have you but if you can sort of distill it and explain it to a layman Hmm. then you then that sort of tells that you've understood the topic well hmm. so right. that's a skill in itself right yeah, like yeah. 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 Uh, no, I mean uh, how so it's become a judgment parameter for me these days okay. that have I <laughs> understood the situation whenever I need matlab uh, because it's part of a job again if you're picking information to newspaper se karo hmm. to how do I check for myself whether I've understood the news completely is that if I can simplify it if I can't then even though I know that I've understood it but I'm not sure if I've uh, understood it to the t mm. you know mm-hmm. so yeah that's the reason it does not go on air otherwise you know there is there are no rules around what you can speak what you can't speak other than the political you know right. comments right. matlab don't don't get into that that's <laughs> the reason it's not more like ki nahi bol sakte of course there are in fact there are lot of people who could have made a career out of it yeah, yeah. had it been allowed yeah. it's more like ki nahi jate wahan pe that's how it's been because we received some you know not us lot of big <laughs> people in, in industry no so yeah uh yeah so oh, that's the only reason it doesn't is that, happen is that sort of counterproductive because you were earlier touching about this aspect that you almost have to bring your self out mm-hmm. uh, to the mic in that sense mm-hmm. but in in doing so maybe you are talking about some technicalities which people don't understand so is there a dichotomy so when mm-hmm. you're sort of explaining a complex topic or just take an example here mm-hmm. 
on the mic then that's sort of contradictory to how sort of you look at it mm. in a sense because you're sort of distilling it which is not which is not how you would perceive it anyhow mm. if that makes sense so no. even if you were you are told to sort of present yourself you it's it's not always possible because there's so many people to cater to mm. but that's what i'm saying that's what happens when you're just matlab i can't be entirely myself in front of everyone i'm a different person in front of my friends i'm a different person when i'm uh, working when i'm different person when i'm with my parents right so you judge that and it's not upon the medium to you know take the i, I don't know flag for this it's it's upon um us इन द सेंस कि मतलब तुम डिसाइड करते हो मुझे किसी ने नहीं बोला है दैट यशवी डोंट बिहेव दिस वे आई कैन टोटली बी द वर्जन दैट आई वॉन्ट टू बी वेन आई एम अलोन इन फ्रंट ऑफ पीपल एज वेल बट वाई डू आई फिल्टर इट टू बी मोर प्लेजेंट टू पीपल अराउंड राइट सो इट्स नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द मीडियम इट्स बिकॉज वी चूज टू बी दैट वे आई मीन थिंक अबाउट योर सेल्फ यू कैंट बी इन अ सोसाइटी विदाउट बींग pleasant you know <laughs> or in the pleasant in the sense ki matlab uh, you just have to be matlab you are gen- yeah, in generally yeah yeah, agree, yeah 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 so yeah you ha huh, so <laughs> that's the way of survival that has nothing to do with the medium yeah um so you were touching base to this aspect of let's say um radio jockeys who've been in the industry for a long time and they've been successful mm. and they have people right to them and they saw this that whatever but Obvi- does it speak to not just their personalities i'm sure is great and they're great radio jockeys but also to the fact that how we consume radio nowadays so perhaps earlier on when there wasn't um this this influx of so many digital platforms out there mm-hmm. people didn't weren't constantly on their phones so even if the car stopped somewhere they weren't let's say texting or something of that sort and the radio was just playing in the background mm. whereas in the previous times maybe the radio was the primary focus and uh, there was nothing else to do right because there wasn't let's say cellular data or those sorts mm. of things mm. so is that another reason why as well that maybe in that particular time they were able to create um, have bonds with the radio jockeys whereas now it's not as such yeah in fact which is why i often think that um, so this is a question that i ask uh, my seniors ki mujhe lag raha hai ki mujhe koi suni nahi raha hai to so then they go back and like ki in one hour matlab aaram se 2 lakh log sun rahe hote hain that's based on statistics that's based on research and i always feel like no one's listening to me <laughs> so uh, yeah but uh, could have been ki agar wo primary medium hai then you are the only focus then people will reach out abhi nahi hai hmm. to you can't blame people and uh, yeah i'm just trying to do my job right <laughs> so you you talked about this aspect of doing your job let me just throw a very basic question out there like what do you think a role of a radio jockey is as such hmm. uh, okay <laughs> technically uh okay india is the only place where uh, jocks talk a lot so it's been said okay. ki aapke jocks itna bolte kyun hai is it is it different though because i've heard that um again i'm referencing another conversation yeah. there so there is um, there was this conversation i had with garima surana mm. so she's a podcaster herself and she runs a couple of companies as well in terms of podcasting so she said that it's different because india almost has never had a culture of talk shows Yeah. We've had in, in terms of TV mm. and news and mm. those sorts of things, but not in a radio context. Whereas in America, they're very well versed in listening into a particular jockey talking about, let's say, whatever, be it politics, sport, this, that, whatever. Whereas here, yeah, you come in with your, let's say, takes on lifestyle and this, that, whatever, but it's still primarily focused on music. Or am I reading it wrong? No, in fact. Um In, in no i mean i'm sure she must be right in that sense in fact i've heard a lot of so you you must be knowing about the american life the podcast right so i so from that's where i have an idea about this from that's where i base my this thing and also it, it's been said like even while our training we were told that india is the place where people do proper jock talk uh uh okay. no, हाँ सो वहाँ पे बिकॉज आई एम अवेयर कि वहाँ पे म्यूजिक शोज ज़्यादा होता है सो इफ़ यू एवर सी अ म्यूजिक शो मतलब आप सुनो कोई भी म्यूजिक शो तो उसमें ऐसे होता है कि रेडियो जॉकी इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर ओपिनियन इट्स मोर अबाउट द म्यूजिक इट्स मोर अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट सो इन दैट केस द लिंक इज सो लिंक इज वॉट वी स्पीक वॉट वी स्पीक इज कॉल्ड लिंक राइट तो दैट इज नॉट मोर देन अ मिनिट हियर रेडियो जॉकीज गो ऑन मतलब मैंने ऐसा सोचा मैंने ऐसा किया तो दे गो सो दैट वी द जॉक टॉक हियर इज मोर 
टॉक शो इज अ टोटली डिफरेंट थिंग इट्स नॉट मतलब या सो दिस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द टॉक सो दैट वे आई थिंक जॉक्स योर टॉक अ लॉट या सो इन दैट सो प्राइमरीली वॉट अ रेडियो जॉकी डज इज ही और शी लिंक्स अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लिंक्स इन द सेंस कि अगर म्यूजिक आ रहा है दो म्यूजिक के बीच में आप बात कर रहे हो तो वो सॉन्ग को समझाता है कि फिर वाइब को सेल करता है कि आज दिन बड़ा सुहाना है इसलिए ये गाना आ गया आपके लिए मैं भी चाय का एक कप लेकर आता हूँ सो दिस इज़ वॉट इट्स दिस इज़ द जॉब बट नाउ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इंटरप्रेटेड इट डिफरेंटली एंड देर आर नो रूल्स टू इट पर से राइट सो I can go on to saying something like कि आज मैंने एल्केमिस्ट पढ़ी और मैंने ये 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 सीखा ए बी सी डी तो मेन काम वो था बट इफ पीपल आर लाइकिंग दिस साइड ऑफ मी देन आई कैन गो ऑन एंड डू दैट सो बेसिक टेक्निकल काम ये है कि दो गानों के बीच में आपको बोल के आपका काम ख़त्म करना है पर नहीं देर आर नो रूल्स टू इट सो यू कॉन्ट एग्जैक्टली पिन पॉइंट एंड डाउन टू के जॉक्स ये ही करते हैं एवरी जॉक इज़ डिफरेंट एवरी जॉक हैज़ अ डिफरेंट पर्सनैलिटी बट जॉक्स आर पीपल हु अकॉर्डिंग टू द वाइब अकॉर्डिंग टू द मूड ऑफ द डे दे स्पीक टू यू सो दैट यू फील लाइक सम वन इवन वेन यू लिसनिंग टू सम वन यू फील लाइक यू बिन हर्ड या No, that's great. Um, so something I really find fascinating, and this is something that some radio jockeys can pull off, is that they can uh, play different um, characters, or they can almost uh, modulate their voice in such mm-hmm. a manner that if you're listening to the show for the first time, you can't make out if it's just one individual or multiple people mm-hmm. on uh, on the show. So, like, can you can you speak to that? Like, I guess we we sort of spoke to this earlier on in terms of having an aura to your mm-hmm. speech or your um, the way you present yourself, but. Like what is that? Like maybe in in an audio context, like is that important to have different to have let's say different uh, modulation? Or is that just let's say an invention that's come out and people say that actually this may be very interesting for this? So listeners. not all radio jockeys are voiceover artists. Oh, right. So it's, yeah. Yeah, and some jockeys are. I mean, there are few. Okay, I don't think first of all you need a great voice to be a radio jockey. It's an added factor. You you need a personality or you need a vibe or you need um your whatever. मतलब whatever you you it's a personality at the end mm-hmm. end of the day. And um, a lot of people know how to use their voice as characters. So a voiceover artist is very different from a radio jockey. Lot of radio jockeys are voiceover artists. Lot of voiceover artists later on turn into radio jockey. But uh, radio jockey is not a character. It's still a person. It's still yourself. While a voiceover artist can play different characters. And usually because with the experience uh, of being on radio and being heard and using your voice you develop that skill ho jata hai over the time to most of the people that you also become a uh, voice over artist but you no know, not everyone can play characters and there's no rule around it ke matlab ye bhi ho sakta hai aisa no so that's fascinating but you talked about this aspect that let's say um if it's a dull day that makes no sense to play something that's very jovial or something of that mm. sort so does that sort of give you a power in that sense even if it's not thought of implicitly uh, so explicitly but implicitly in the sense and how i'm coming to this is that um what you think and what your interpretation of the world is of how mm. let's say the weather is mm. can impact so many of the people who are actually listening in mm. and then they can sort of take the inter- interpretation that acha so yashvi thinks even if even if they aren't even if they don't think that that's happening to them maybe subconsciously that is taking place in their mind so mm. they're saying acha maybe they're just driving and that's something that they hear on the side of their ears and that acha the uh, she thinks that it's a dull day and this is a sort of music that she's playing does it ever come to your mind that, that perhaps that will orient that particular person's day in that manner yeah yeah in fact recently i think i have been working for almost 6 7 months now at mirchi and i had my first ever monday blue टू वीक्स पहले उसके पहले मुझे मंडे ब्लूज हुआ ही नहीं है कभी एंड आई वॉज लाइक कि अरे मंडे ब्लू हो रहा है मतलब आई तो लाइक माई जॉब वाई डू आई हैव अ मंडे ब्लू बट आई वेंट ऑन एंड सेड इट ऑन एयर कि यार मतलब मंडे ब्लू हो रहा है क्या करें एंड मोस्टली पीपल हैव मंडे ब्लूज नाव दैट्स अ जजमेंट दैट आई एम मेकिंग ओके बट नाव यू अगेन सी इट इन अ वे दैट वो बैलेंस हो जाता है कि जिनको हो भी रहा है वहाँ तक भी पहुँचे और जिनको नहीं हो रहा है वहाँ तक भी पहुँचे हैविंग सेड दैट ये हर चीज़ में नहीं होता है मतलब यू कैन टेक दिस कॉल ऑल द टाइम सो लेट्स से कोरोना है कोरोना के टाइम्स ओ माय गॉड मतलब 
देर आर फैमिलीज वेर समन्स लॉस समन एंड देन यू हाउ डू यू मेक दैट जजमेंट कि उनके लिए बात करो हु आर यू नो ट्राइंग टू बी हैप्पी इन दीज सैड टाइम्स और शुड यू टॉक फॉर पीपल और टू पीपल हु आर सैड सो हाउ डू यू मेक दैट जजमेंट सो समाइम्स मतलब so then you go based on what you think is right for the day <laughs> I, there is no clear answer to it because uh, how how do you how do you make the distinction ki kaun sun raha hai kaun kis time pe sun raha hai to generally jo vibe hota hai city ka us pe to aap khelogey ki you know ki agar cases bahut bad gaye hain to suddenly i can't be like ha 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 aaj mera mood bahut acha hai you have to say that cases <laughs> bahut bad gaye hain you have to say ki yaar i know you are going through a tough time but uh, yeah you can't reach out to everyone but jo majorly chal raha hota hai wo, uh, play with that vibe hmm what do you think because you were talking about this aspect of let's say um or talking about you talking about the digital platforms and now it's sort of democratized so people can get mm. access to it and put their content up what do you think about free speech in general in the way uh, it is in society mm. like do you think that um yeah just what do you think in general because i think it's it's for the best because only only when we have discussions over difficult topic areas can we mm. sort of come to conclusions which will lead us forward in society but often let's say in certain se- in certain sectors those sort some of the people aren't given aren't, uh, aren't able to voice their concerns or voice mm. w- their opinions or those sorts of things so i guess i'm just asking in a very broad philosophical sense what your thoughts on free speech are uh okay i can't have there is nothing to have to think more on this more than ki free speech is important like that's like a is <laughs> ye na bolne ke barabar hai ki isme main kya hi bolu but ki, is it so because like for example with the aspect of we were talking about the digital platforms and those mm. sorts of things mm. and on the digital platforms it's it's such a big thing of uh, cancel culture and those things mm. propelling in right yeah. and i and and i think and i've made this example previously on the podcast so i'm sorry for the listeners who are having to listen to this again but it's almost like um, the people the newer generation like the gen x or millennials are almost playing the same game that they would accuse their uncles to be playing so mm. for example if there's a 60 year old uncle who uh, has let's say a certain way of looking at the world let's say Paul Mm. so what have you mm. and then their uh, their children aren't so uh, don't agree with them in the same particular context mm. and uh, and the uncle says that yeah but they won't understand because they haven't seen all the establishments so this that whatever so they're just uh, newborns and how can they comment and whatever and but that's the same thing that the 17 18 year olds are playing on instagram or whatever that uh, acha that particular uncle won't even understand the way we live in the world today there's so many privileges this that whatever so what's even the point of talking to them because you can't even sort of have a conversation there mm. that makes sense so obviously i'm always a proponent of free speech and that's another reason why i started my podcast but do you think that however much we may think it's important many sectors in society it's there isn't this particular channel of people voicing there i think the idea of free speech should also be ki you help more people be free you know um so फ्री स्पीच इज मतलब इट्स गिविंग यून इंडिविजुअलिटी एंड वी आर मूविंग इन जनरल इन सोसाइटी वी आर मूविंग टूअर्ड समथिंग जहाँ पे इंडिविजुअलिज्म इज रिस्पेक्टेड ओके ना एक टाइम था वैन पीपल व वेरी सीरियस अबाउट बाउंड्रीज वैन पीपल व रियली देर आर लॉट ऑफ लिमिटेशंस वो कहा जाता है ना दैट हमारी जनरेशन में द मतलब एक चीज़ है कि मेरे पास इतने सारे ऑप्शन हैं मैं क्या करूँ हमारे पेरेंट्स के लिए ये था कि यही ऑप्शन है अब इससे घर बनाओ हमारे पास घर ऑलरेडी है अब हमको करना है कि ओके वी आर मूविंग अप इन दी हाई राकी इन पिरामिड ऑफ नीड्स की वॉट शुड आई डू दैट सेटिस्फाइज माई सोल सो दी आइडिया सो वी आर सो इट्स अ गुड थिंग कि पहले पहले सिर्फ नीड्स की तरफ फोकस था नाव इट्स टूअर्ड्स वॉन्ट्स राइट सो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग so the idea of free speech in general also should be that you free other people if social media is a platform that has been given to you which is for everyone like uh, you know for by and from people then i think uh, the direction should be that uh, you uplift people you know ki matlab whoever is there matlab aise nahi hai ki agar koi जाके चिल्ला रहा है तो उसको भी बोलो कि नहीं नहीं आओ आओ हमारा ही है ऐसे नहीं बट 
मेक इट अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव स्पेस दैट दैट बट ये बहुत मतलब दीज आर गुड टॉक्स दीज आर जस्ट दिस इज जस्ट लाइक मी शुगर कोटिंग दिस इज वॉट इट शुड बी बट दैट्स नॉट वॉट इट इज सो विद एवरी थिंग दैट यू एक्सपेक्ट सम थिंग विल कम इन द सेंस कि देर इज ऑलवेज अ ग्रे एरिया दर इज ऑलवेज द कॉन्स एंड यू कैंट फॉरगेट दैम बट या दिस इज वॉट इट शुड बी इज वॉट आई मीन इन जनरल सो आई आई कैन ओनली स्पीक अबाउट माई वर्क इन दैट केस यू नो वॉट आई ट्राई टू डू सो the idea is that uh, um i i would want people so every time i speak something i do want to make sure that someone is being heard you know in a way now of course not all my content could be in a way ki nahi aapke liye bhi bol diya i'm you know but uh, just ki if i am comfortable in my own skin being myself then maybe someone who's listening to me would think ki acha ha you know if she can do it then so can i that's the idea at the end of the day so let's say today i did a link somewhere on ki why do we have to care about fashion trends matlab main to aaj soch hi rahi thi ki matlab yaar log kitna acha acha pehnte hain but that didn't have any effect on me because main to t-shirt aur jeans pehn ke hi aayi hu so anyone who thinks this way should also be isme acceptance non acceptance ki baat nahi hai but they should be feeling ki ha no matlab aise bhi log hote hain so basically mm-hmm. बिग द आइडिया ऑफ इंडिविजुअलिज्म इज़ कि कोई और भी ऐसा होता है जिनको वो मे बी नहीं मिला है जो आपको मिला है सो योर जॉब इज़ टू जस्ट मेक दैम फील एम्पावर्ड इन सम वे बाई बींग योर सेल्फ एंड दैट्स ऑल दैट वी कैन डू यू नो जस्ट बी योर सेल्फ एंड देन मेक स्पेस फॉर अदर्स एज वेल टू बी दैम सेल्फ सो इन दैट वे दैज दैज रिस्पेक्ट नो आई टोटली एग्री विद सो यू सोडो वॉन्ट टू वी वी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एस्पेक्ट दैट at radio stations those sorts of things people are sort of radio jockeys and those sort of people are told to stay away from certain type of content be it political or those sorts of things but just to throw in the feminist term here again the person is political hmm. like whatever you say in some sense don't you feel even if you don't think it is political in that sense it is perceived in that in in a particular context and what i mean is that because i feel that human beings are form from biases and that's the only way we can look we can uh, conceive the world right and, and in that sense everyone with their biases when they're coming to a public platform where they are expressing themselves those biases inherently creep in and yeah. and that's just something you can't uh, move away from hmm. so obviously in uh, in the in the tv space it's much more common for people to sort of label channels as a certain leaning or those sorts of things hmm. but does that happen with radio stations even if they aren't explicitly putting out content in that manner but people can sort of make out um, by their speech by their program that um, these are certain values that people stand for mm. or these are the things that this channel generally propagates mm. i don't know but that's based on the channel that's the agenda of the channel so if let's say if xyz uh, radio channel has decided that we are going to be anti establishment तो देन मतलब यू अगर उतना तुमने डिसाइड किया है तुम्हारे वैल्यूज़ में या तुम्हारे बिलीव्स में देन यू गो फॉर इट बट मोस्टली रेडियो एज अ स्पेस इट्स बिन सेफ इन द सेंस कि वी नेवर मतलब वी डेंट हैव टू सेल अर सेल्फ बेस्ड ऑन द पॉलिटिकल स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ द मेजोरिटी आई डोंट इवन थिंक इट्स इट मैटर्स सो मच इज explicitly putting out let's say anti establishment or establishment of those sorts mm. of thing like even playing the political game in that sense but what i meant was like um it just comes into an argument so i was having this conversation with um uh Jackie Tucker who's uh, who works for filter copy and mm. does some creative work there so and i was having this conversation with him because filter copy puts a lot of content which sur- which is around relationships and those sorts mm. of things on youtube mm. and uh, i told him that even if you aren't explicitly uh, promoting let's say live in culture hmm. which is easy for people in the metro cities relatively speaking to talk about but that may not be seen um, so easy for people in let's say a tier 2 or tier 3 city to talk about and that in itself is is political even if it's not promoting it if that uh, even if it's not explicitly mentioning it if that makes sense because mm. then you would sort of associate that acha uh, live in culture is something that's associated with progressivism and those sorts of things and not a uh, conservative values or those sorts of aspects but i don't think anyone thinks in that direction when planning a content as i said that that's what i, I said it could he... just come through your speech and that's just right. subconsciously there mm. but then that in that case the this is the lens of people 
this is not the lens of the creator you know any content creator i think of course okay what's the purpose of being a content creator to create <laughs> wow uh, yeah so but in so whatever helps you push those boundaries you'll go for it and in that sense uh, you would never want to see your content in the light which can be perceived as political or non political it's always about what boundaries you're trying to push as a creator so i don't think you look at it from people's side and even if that is the case or if that happens for people i think what mostly because i have asked this question to a lot of uh, creators like what do you uh, think about when you know these when you when people want to put you under a box when you, people want to you know mm-hmm. label you mm-hmm. in some way so they are like he, you you can't think that and create content it will never happen that way matlab i don't think then you'll you'll ever feel free enough or confident enough to go out and do what you want to so i don't think that i think most of the creators want to stay away from it is right. yeah yeah see that's what i say as well that obviously with us being formed of biases and that's inherently mm-hmm. there but the least we can do is um at least try to be cognizant of that mm-hmm. if that makes sense so for example if you on the off chance do identify that acha maybe i'm just taking uh maybe i'm not presenting both sides of the argument let's say mm-hmm. then maybe that's something i should take into consideration or maybe i should um c- y- just consider some of the ways that perhaps um yeah it's difficult again it's very difficult to uh, talk because it's very muddy because how can you then even differentiate if you are let's say going a little too far on either side or whatever mm, mm. um but that's where the agenda comes into place doesn't it because that's what i'm saying i think for a creator the main agenda is just to go and do their thing whatever they think would help uh, See, someone again, or <laughs> or maybe not, even not to dive too deep but then the the aspect here is that when they want to create something why do they want to do that Mm-hmm. like what's the reasoning behind it they can mm-hmm. l- very well keep those thoughts to themselves mm-hmm. why present it to the world mm-hmm. like is isn't isn't there like a motive towards doing it in some sense yeah but that's very that that depends no like creator to creator like i can't answer for mm-hmm. s- s- so i'm uh, so when i say that a creator is trying to push the boundaries because that's the only way to grow if you yeah, want yeah. to sustain or if you want to continue being a creator so i'm assuming that any creator who goes about uh, making content does it with a purpose of growing right and when that is in the question that then i think it'll mostly be things that are accepted by people having said that aisa bhi nahi hai ki just because see movies for that matter you have all kind of creators there you know even the ones that don't get accepted by masses but when it comes to thoughts so you are always trying to push a push something here ki matlab kuch naya thought lao because that's the only way a creation stands on its yeah. own right so then you can't put people's lens on it right ha huh. right matlab tab aap usko matlab um उसको भी अगर आप बॉक्स में डाल दोगे उसको भी अगर आप लेबल में डाल दोगे ठीक है वो आप करो बट क्रिएशन के टाइम पे ही अगर वो कर दोगे putting something out of a form of art you can't sort of have that because you just have to focus on the art as such hmm. and the art could be anything it could be hmm. podcasting it could yeah, be radio yeah. it could hmm. be uh, i don't know music videos it could be uh, just visual art so whatever hmm. you just have to focus on the art and then people have to sort people will make the interpretations of themselves hmm. because like there are a million ways of reading shakespeare hmm. and each of them is equally true hmm. uh, that's the only thing that postmodern hmm. thought has ever taught us but anyhow <laughs> um can we speak a little bit about languages and uh, how that sort of interplays in uh, radio and those hmm. sorts of things so can you like what do you have to say about that because there are radio stations and i think mitchi does this as well right like so you guys promote uh, you guys put out content in let's say the regional language so in this case it would be gujarati hmm. um in hindi and in hmm. english and those sorts of things so like can you speak to that like is what do each language what does each language bring Um, hmm. is it only the demographics that they're targeting or is there something else like maybe 
just the language itself and how it's spoken and 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 those sorts of things and intricacies uh, of the language okay so earlier it used to be that uh, radio presenters had really like sharp hold on one form of language so let's say if you're speaking just hindi mm-hmm. then it's sharp hindi abhi aisa nahi hai because our lingo has changed i don't speak in just english or i just english. don't speak in yeah i speak in english so uh, it has changed according to again people around yeah. right so abhi it's not the case that you're trying to uh, um knowingly promote a certain language or anything but anything that helps connect so connect is the primary focus and then whichever language helps you get there so let's say when i speak in gujarati that's mainly for the connect not because it's a rule mm-hmm. so if i want to connect to my audience then i have to do that because uh, if you go to it's not just radio if you go to any city you know why do you switch to hindi uh or maybe why do you switch to so let's say if i am in mumbai then if i know marathi i will speak to someone in marathi if um, not that we do not know hindi both of us but that is yeah, yeah. the connect right so that's where languages come into play that it's mainly for the connect in radio per se uh but otherwise uh, otherwise i think he depends on what you're trying to do with it What are you trying to do with it? In what sense? Not in radio sense, in general. Like okay. if uh, so, that I so we've heard that uh, with every personality, because in India people are multi- multilingual. Mm-hmm. With every personality, uh, uh, sorry, with every language, a different personality of you unfolds. So when I'm speaking in English, I have a different personality from uh, when I speak in Gujarati. That's a different personality. So, so. When I choose any of the languages to speak, then it depends on what I'm trying to do with that personality of mine. Right. So, it's often said by linguists and uh, people who work with languages in that sense that um, if you are multilingual in that sense and if you are fluent in several languages, switching between languages and sort of constructing a thought in a particular language and then constructing the same thought in a different language can often make you come to different conclusions about the thing you were thinking about even. So. What do you think about that? Like, isn't that fascinating in itself? Because it yeah. happens to me every day. So, uh, I write in English. Okay. But uh, um, and sometimes uh, my thoughts are in English. But when I'm supposed to speak on radio, it has to be Gujarati. Okay. So by the time I convert it from English to Hindi to Gujarati, because it can't go straight away to Gujarati, it doesn't happen to me naturally. <laughs> I first need to bring it to Hindi, and then I do it. It's a you, मतलब long process. But then I I have to do it, so then I do it. So, uh, yeah, by the time I reach Gujarati, I think the thought has gone, and in <laughs> fact, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, which is why I uh, ask copywriters in our you know uh, unit ki, मतलब इस thought को कैसे बोल सकते हैं? Because mm-hmm. I do not know this thought has come to me in English, but by the time I try to make it, uh, you know, something that can be explained to a five-year-old, <laughs> maybe I sound <laughs> crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, that does happen. That with every different language, there's a different thought. Um, but no, there are people. Ha- but this is my problem. But there are people who have strong hold on each and every language. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know Hindi properly. I don't know Gujarati properly. I don't know English properly. I कहीं पे बीच में घूमती रहती हूँ, right? But there are people who know all these three languages very well, and they do manage to do it. That they do manage to have a thought in maybe Gujarati and then convert it into English. a way that is you know that everyone can um, understand it i think that's just them <laughs> and yeah, their no, experience yeah no and and see so that's great in in terms of you constructing your speech then mm. in that sense and bringing out your thoughts but then that's the same cycle that the person listening to you will take right mm. so for example if you see speaking something in gujarati mm. the listener will listen to it in gujarati perhaps but maybe if he isn't or she isn't well versed with that particular language maybe they will understand it in a different language let's say hindi or english and that mm. may take them that may allow them to have different interpret interpretations of themselves which is which is mm. <laughs> which is fascinating in the sense that whatever you may put out may actually not even be received in that particular manner by mm. the listener which is No, no, no. That I think depends on how well you understand the language. मतलब I know people. So my friends, they don't speak in Gujarati, but they understand something exactly the way they should be because they know Gujarati. Mm-hmm. So the pauses in every language is different. So yeah. the way of saying things are different. In fact, there are times. Uh, okay, when I went on air and I was speaking in Gujarati, I had a Marat. I have Marathi friends. I have Malayali friends, and I sent it to to them. You know, and it was in Gujarati. 
Marathi again, but it had something in maybe English or somewhere. And just because of the um, bhav of it, mm-hmm. they kind of understood what I was trying to say because of the way I said it, you know, with the pauses and with the energy and everything. So I think they pretty much, pretty much made up the gist. They right. got the gist yeah. of it, you know. Yeah. So, um, but I think he. Ye, it's 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 a question in terms of creation i don't think it's in terms of uh, uh it's a question in terms of perceiving it mm-hmm. matlab uh, ha there are of course there are people who this is matlab what you're trying to say is that can be put under the light of miscon misconception yeah. or which is, is, is uh, misconception even the right word because again it's art right and yeah. people can interpret it in, in whatever diff- they their subjectivity in it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh no but so let's say if i'm trying to say something a to b then i have spoken it with the intent that it does get received as a to b matlab wo waisi pahunchna chahiye agar b to a to wo upper hai that's not on the creator <laughs> matlab that's not what my intention was mm-hmm. so of course the subjectivity is on you but having said that language has a lang- language in terms of translation has nothing to do there like at least i don't think so ki um we can talk about even religious texts for yeah. that matter yeah. you know they get matlab itna unko translation kar kar ke unka original matlab hi change ho jata hai kyunki wo har ek insaan ke liye wo alag meaning hota hai whoever the person is trying to translate it it becomes something different but uh, the subjectivity is the onus is on uh, the person who is trying to understand i don't know matlab i don't know ki Um uh, <laughs> wow <laughs> this has never happened to me no, that's fine. I've never thought of it this way but no as long as the intention is clear it should reach but no I yeah. will try think deeply about it No because <laughs> that is true I just feel there is sort of an interpretation that you draw which is different I guess but then I do agree with um the this aspect of um of you understanding the content through the tonality or or through the way it's presented mm. so i'm a big fan of narcos and like uh, that's mm. a series i watched yeah. and even if i'm just watching it through subtitles and mm. understanding it that way um just in the manner that like the acting has been put forward or and the cine- and and everything that the show has been produced in i can sort of take away so much more even though i'm not well versed with uh, mm. the spanish language and those sorts of things so i do agree that there is um that yeah obviously like speech is just one component to it there are so many other things that make us make our understanding let's say mm. so yeah i again like i keep referencing my conversations but um so i had uh, the people from the not knowing podcast on and they had something really interesting to share which was the fact that um the content of my speech is only like 7% of your interpret of your understanding of it mm. there's like a lot bigger percentage in the manner in which i speak it mm. in let's say the rotations of my yeah, arm yeah, right yeah. now or like whatever body and those so- body language either. and those yeah. sorts of things have a much bigger impact in the way you sort of take away uh, mm. your understanding of the language as well mm. and that's then yeah. that's true in every uh, in a lot of senses as well even when you're writing mm. so this is another reason why people sort of say that it's better to let's say write uh, to to understand concepts to write let's say by hand because when you're doing that your mind doesn't sort of understand the sentences as such or the words that are on the on the, on the page but it understands the movements and then mm. those sort of movements are sort of then used to propel those ideas when you're sort wow. of using them I had no idea about this. So, so yeah. in that case I think it's entirely possible that uh, uh when a listener who thinks in a different language when they yeah, hear me in saying. a different language. Yeah, I think now that you've said this uh, earlier I used to think that maybe when the intention is in a certain manner how can it be perceived in a different way? Because uh, uh even we've seen that even when uh, as i said when i gave my example ki we've seen that even when you don't know the language just because of the way it's being said yeah, yeah. people kind of understand it the way it 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 intended to go out right. you know but i think now it's possible it's pretty much possible no just look at it in this particular context right like languages are so different because uh, i i find hindi to be so rich because there's so many words to it as compared to english which is mm. another great language in itself but for me perhaps it doesn't have the richness in it and mm. there's so many words and i'm just taking hindi and english for yeah. an example here 
but there's so many words in hindi which cannot be translated in english mm. so that's a particular concept that is gone mm. or that's a particular thing that is very hard to then express in another yeah. language yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe that that's the direction maybe i'm the coming feeling with. can't reach uh, mm-hmm. but meaning can always be construed okay is what i think that yeah uh yeah. because that's what happens in translations and even when you try to read so books when we try to read classics or something mm-hmm. you know uh so why do they say that try to read it in original text because maybe yeah. the feeling of it can't be it's always the way you place the words and how you play with it play with it you yeah, know word after word that has the entire effect you know so ha huh, so i think ki exact jo feeling so let's say a word like uh, उर्दू में ये बहुत अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन हो सकता है कि वैन यू से समथिंग आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो हैवी उर्दू वर्ड बट वैन यू से इट तो वो सुन के इतना मज़ा आता है एंड देन वैन यू ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट इन इंग्लिश और हिंदी देन लगे हाँ उसका मतलब समझ आ गया पर इधर तक पहुँचा नहीं हाँ सो या मे बी दैट्स वॉट इट इज बट देर आर ऑल बट सी बट मे बी दैट इज the meaning to it then because in 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 a certain sense you're talking about classics and those sorts of things like you just can't read shakespeare in like a modern day way we can through languages through mm. emojis and those sorts of things mm. it does not make yeah, sense yeah, yeah. and then even though maybe the meaning has come through maybe the meaning in itself is sort of uh, a lower level abstraction because in the manner in which shakespeare who well, i don't even know if it's just one person a group of writers by the way who wrote it in that particular yeah. manner <laughs> <laughs> who wrote it in a particular manner uh-huh. uh, was how again like it, it, it shouldn't even matter right like again it comes to the same argument that um, it, that's just a form of art and mm. what we take of it is just our interpretation mm. of it and that's totally fine right yeah yeah <laughs> mm mm-hmm. yeah मतलब सो अ टीचर ऑफ माइंड वन सेट दैट द वे दीज रिलीजियस टेक्सट्स और मे बी बुक्स हैव बिन रिटन इट्स पॉसिबल इट्स वेरी मच पॉसिबल दैट सम वन डिक्लेयर्स हैरी पॉटर एज द मतलब जैसे मतलब जैसे बाइबल है वैसे हैरी पॉटर है हैरी पॉटर वॉज द पर्सन हु इट्स एंटायरली पॉसिबल एंड आई वॉट इन टू दैट आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड आई वॉज लाइक कि हाँ यार मतलब वेरी मच पॉसिबल कि ऐसा हो सकता है तो उसका परसेप्शन तो पूरा एंटायरली आप ही डिपेंडेंट है मतलब उसमें क्रिएट लाइक लीव द वेस्ट फॉर दैट मैटर लुक एट आर टेक्स हाँ like the the ramayana that everyone mm. looks at mm. is the tulsidas ramayana it's mm-hmm. not the valmiki ramayana mm-hmm. which is again it's controversial space <laughs> which is <laughs> conceivably the first copy <laughs> of of the of the mm. text which is written by mm. valmiki mm. but people only read the tulsidas ramayana and there are mm. so many things in the tulsidas ramayana that never happened in the valmiki ramayana yeah, like yeah, the yeah. rakshana rekha was never mm. go, never a thing that happened in the mm. valmiki ramayana but that's just something that we take as religion as mythology and uh, construct our worlds through it right mm-hmm. so it's entirely possible that um, i don't know 10 15 years down the line uh, people will be worshiping harry potter and that's yeah, great yeah, if that yeah. helps them what yeah. you <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so yeah so coming to uh, talking about literature text and those sorts of things but a big role of a radio jockey again is to sort of uh, play music and those sorts mm. of things so how does what do you think how does music interplay in society like what do you think yeah what's its role in society in that sense i think where words are not enough this might sound very asa matlab kaha se ruminant in some way but uh yeah but i think where words can't reach i think somewhere music helps yeah this we didn't realize until music came into you know uh, existence ki Uh, there are spaces that even words can't fill so mm. um, okay so for a radio jockey if i just have to say yeah, there there are interesting things we do ha huh? matlab um, i know a jock uh, who listens to bhojpuri music every morning so that she gets the tempo right for a morning show oh, wow. you know so that she can be like oh i'm here buddy. see but there's something to that though because people have uh, workout songs and like a yeah. workout playlist mm. and there's something happens because like when you go for a run and when you feel that okay your body is giving up mm. and then you want to stop or something but mm. if you just play like one song mm. like you you have sort of physiological changes in your body and you're mm. much more pumped up mm. to go ahead with it and it's almost just playing a trick with your mind because your mind your your body still the same condition mm. but it's just that one particular song just changes your uh, the way you go ahead with that workout yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's <laughs> हाँ आई सो इन आर जॉब मेनली सो 
जॉक्स कीप यूजिंग दिस टर्म कॉल्ड वाइब दैट आज मेरा वाइब बहुत मस्त है आज का वाइब सही नहीं है ये वाइब होता क्या है एंड आई एक्चुअली यूज टू आज दिस क्वेश्चन कि ये वाइब होता क्या है अंटिल आई रियलाइज इट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट यू टॉक अबाउट दैट इज नो मीनिंग टू इट यू कैंट आंसर दिस इट्स समथिंग दैट यू फील फ्लो स्टेट नॉट जस्ट फॉर राइटर्स एनी क्रिएटिव <laughs> oh my god look how right i'm trying to sign a sound but uh, yeah but uh, ha so yeah vibe is mainly that so i think music is is just a vibe <laughs> wow yeah, yeah but um, yeah so i see there are not many people who do not like music is there anyone who does not like music <laughs> so it's the language that is common to lot of people yeah yeah it's, it's another you know, thing coming back to when you were talking about language and linguistics is because when i was talking about this aspect of concepts mm. we don't sort of understand concepts obviously there's like a rhythmicity to it mm. so even when you're making movements with your hand writing down a particular sentence mm. there's a rhythmicity through which you your mind understands and that's the yeah. same with music mm. you don't sort of deconstruct certain words and mm. understand them you, you sort of understand them in that particular rhythm yeah. and that's how your mind constructs it mm. and that's another argument with um, religious texts mm. and why there are certain texts that um cling on and then those sort of texts become so pro, uh, pro- prominent. prominent in society mm. is because it sings almost mm. because if you read um, any of these religious texts you were talking about even with the western texts or the indian texts even they written in such a beautiful manner that when you actually read it it's it's almost like it's singing to you in mm. in, in a particular sense mm. and and yeah that's just <laughs> and that's just great because it helps people then um, orient themselves like the tulsi das ramayana so you to come back to it so many times but it's written in such a devotional manner that almost every every uh, household has it and Yeah, it just um I don't there's something to it that um I don't want to sound too preachy but I'm not getting the right words for it. <laughs> I think from I I'm gathering this from what you're trying to say that maybe people want to hear, listen or um perceive things in a manner that satisfies them. Like you know, hmm. they फॉर एवरी क्रिएटर और मे बी जिसने भी लिखा जो भी लिखा फॉर दैम मे बी दी इंटेंशन वॉज समथिंग एल्स की अफकोर्स दे वर ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग बट दैन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेक अ हीरोज जर्नी आउट ऑफ रामायणा दैन बी दैट मे बी द क्रिएटर जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू अबाउट देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पीपल इन वर्ल्ड दैट यू नो देर इज देर इज राम एंड देर इज रावन एंड दैट वॉज इज ओनली मोटिव बट सम वन हैड टू गो ऑन एंड बी लाइक इन नो द गुड विन्स एंड मे बी दैट्स हैव इट वेंट अड नो दैट इज इट बिकॉज या दैट्स दैट्स बेसिकली इट बिकॉज द वाल्मीकि रामायण इफ यू रीड इट इट्स वेरी लाइक टू द पॉइंट इट दैज नो लाइक flow to it or like their word that's used in that's used in sanskrit it's like there's no raga there's no uh, rasas in the which where there is something that is um, like that makes the text so beautiful and something that you want to come back to that is only mm. when you list, uh, read the tulsi das you know Ramayana, this reminds me of ki pehle i can't um, so when people instill their faith into um, a maybe a uh, uh, animal mm-hmm. or what is it called i don't know what is it, it there's a name for it no of like faith into something yeah like into a particular thing so let's say pehle aisa hota tha ki bahut time tak barish nahi aayi to you pray to right. this thing and then uh, barish aa jayegi uh-huh. to i think people have been that way i'm getting a really strange thought i'm thinking that anyone who says that they are not a romantic is lying because yeah. <laughs> i think in order to survive you need hope and in order to be hopeful you need to be a romantic exactly <laughs> <laughs> Someone clap for no. this realization. Oh my god! Okay. No, that's great because like uh, I often get accused of being a hopeless romantic and just romanticizing almost everything in the world. So that's just good. At, there are other people who who look at the world in that sense because it's just it's impossible otherwise because there's so much suffering in the world, right? It is no <laughs> like Buddha said it best, right? Like life is inherently suffering, and then there's so like for you to orient yourself, you have to sort of um, romanticize, romanticize yeah. things because uh-huh. otherwise yeah. there's just no point to it. Yeah. So <laughs> so bringing it back to what you're trying to say in term in terms of language, I think even uh, when someone is trying to uh, a creator is trying A to B. 
then it's entirely upon the uh, receiver mm-hmm. to perceive it in the way they want to and translate it to b to c subjectivity is not the only answer here it's also about what you want to hear yeah सब्जेक्टिविटी इज़ लाइक कि एक चीज़ है उसको अलग अलग तरीके से परसीव किया है हियर इट इज़ अबाउट आई वॉन्ट टू सी इट इन दिस मैनर ओनली दैट्स वेन बिकम डेंजरस या 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 डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली बट दर इज नथिंग दैट अ क्रिएटर कैन डू अबाउट या 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 सो Mm. Yeah. No, so uh this has been a thrilling conversation. Just mm. one last question if I yeah. can keep you. Um so you mentioned this aspect of uh, radio having a big impact on your life and mm-hmm. you sort of um taking the references let's say the radio jockeys gave in terms of books, movies, mm. which you went on to read, watch and those sorts of things and mm. you enjoyed. So can you give uh, a few book recommendations, movie recommendations that have mm. sort of impacted your life in a uh, yeah, just impacted your life in the way you look at the world? Uh um nothing has uh, uh, matlab nothing has had that strong effect on me till date that i change my life's uh, beliefs because of it matlab i've loved stuff i've admired it i've i've deeply uh, tried to understand and you know be overwhelmed with it but nothing till that extent has affected me as of yet having said that yes there are uh, f- okay recent movie that i will it it's been in on my mind since last 2 months now and it's been like i it's i i think about it even when i'm doing nothing so that <laughs> that's some strong uh you know impact that a movie can have talking about sound of metal and it talks a lot about uh mm, so usually in movies you see that a hero has nothing then they go on a journey and they get something here it's ulta that they have something they are already doing well and they go on to losing something and even then it's uh, it, it's the same amount of joy that okay. you would have had if you so had gained something yeah 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 Arch- yeah yeah so yeah so sound of metal is one i would recommend it it did affect me in uh, Mm, in terms of ki uh, i am thinking of getting stillness back in my life there was a point where i used <laughs> to feel that i'm still i'm not running after something now i constantly feel like uh, so that movie was a reminder in that sense but ha aisa kuch hua nahi hai so which is why i say ki <laughs> nothing has impacted me <laughs> on the levels ki i change my life's uh, entire i don't know orientation <laughs> yeah yeah orientation <laughs> because of it so uh, ha and that is the one uh books that i've liked um, so recent one i think would be m and the big home by okay. jerry pinto um the thing about books is the, it's also something where uh, movies can't reach because uh, I, i usually i like books where um it's it, so my judgment for liking a book is basically ki agar maine isme zyada underline kiya hai na matlab mujhe book pasand aayi hai that's how i know by the end of it that i've liked it but this time in this book it's not about the writing it was truly about where uh, mm, the kind of life that a character goes through it, it's about ki how do you live with someone who is going through a mental illness but uh, that's what he's tried to touch upon but uh, yeah it's true it's 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 too real matlab uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow i'm i'm getting sad even thinking about what he went through so yeah so you I'm are gonna... orienting your life on that book then <laughs> no but i'm telling you after 5 minutes it will have nothing matlab it's not the disconnect that i have it's just i'm too lazy to follow <laughs> anything yeah but uh, yeah I'm too set in my ways, yar. I'm old. <laughs> Listen, actually, this has been a really thr- yeah. uh, thrilling conversation. I hope we can do this sometime again in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It got me thinking so much, <laughs> and I'm going to think about it. I think for next uh, one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. <laughs>